I can see you guys pretty large. If you have blocks, please have them nearby. And just start to uh, connect and disconnect at the same time. How about that? So the toes touch, the knees are wide, the belly softens between the thighs, and we just let go of any anything that, you know, the stress that might have gotten you here five minutes ago. Uh, let it go. It's all done. All done. For those of you at home on my Zoom as well as on the camera, um, I'll probably be doing some modifications. So, you know, if you uh, want to move further than that, go further than that. If you want to back off with me, back off with me. So just start to breathe across the spaces of the lower back, middle back, and the upper back, spreading from side to side, top to bottom. And allow your belly to soften between the thighs so there's no tension. And breathe in through the nose, now through the nose, breathe down the sides of the body, from the underarm really all the way to the outside of the hip. And your arms can be forward, back, between your legs, under your head, on blocks. They can be outstretched strong, or you can have them relax for a little bit more. So the best thing I can always tell you about a yoga practice is to listen to your body, right? Whatever it's guiding you, because, you know, we never really know until we step on this mat how we're gonna feel. And so you might have this thought in your head of, I'm going to do that one-handed headstand, handstand thing today. And your body may say, no, you know, I don't think you're going to do that today. So listen to your body, not your head. Walk your hands to the right side. You can keep them outstretched or a little bit softer. Bring the breath to the left side of the body. Think about pushing your left hip to your left heel a little bit deeper. Relax the shoulders and neck. And continue to breathe across the back, top and bottom, side to side. And then inhale, walk through the center to the other side. Right hand comes on top or longer than the left. Push the hips to the heels. And again, breathe from the underarm to the outside of the hip. And just start to, you know, let your body kind of guide you into the space. Center. Push your hips to your heels, relax your shoulders. Now stretch the arms out in front of you. Spread the fingers, lift them up, and place the pinky down, the ring finger, the middle finger, the forefinger, and the thumb down. And then stay on your fingertips, but lift the heels of your hands without lifting your shoulders. Place the heel of the hands down, lift the fingertips up, play the piano again. And then spread your palms down on the floor, reaching again forward and back with your fingertips to your heel. Long, long arms, long spine. Breathe in through the nose as you come up onto your hands and knees. Bring your knees under your hips. Walk your hands a little bit more forward. Turn your fingers back. And if bringing the arms a little forward is too much for your wrists here, your forearms, then bring the arms back further. So just turn the fingers towards your knees, palms are down. You can rock a little side to side. Again, you can move them a little bit more forward if you have you know, that flexibility and um, it's not too stressful for you. Keeping the fingers pointing towards you, just turn the palms up. Maybe bend and press your elbows straighter. My elbows will never get straight straight, but And then come back to the neutral position. Walk your hands, turn your hands forward, and then walk them forward again. Walk your knees back a little bit. Keep your hips in the air. Bring the chin or the forehead to the floor. Drop your chest between your arms. And once again, breathe across the spaces of the body. Elevate the underarms and support the shoulders. Send your right arm underneath your left arm. Take the palm to the sky. Bring the back of your head to the floor. And reach your left arm forward. Hug your left hip to the right hip or towards the midline. 
So it's not just sitting out to the left side of the space. Not that Star Wars space again. Bring your left arm behind your back, bind it behind your back, maybe grab a hold of the right inner thigh as you rotate the torso open, breathe in. And then empty the breath out. Release your left hand, bring it back in front of you. Stretch your right arm out to meet it. Bring the forehead or the chin and the chest to the floor. And then take your left arm underneath your right, back of the head towards the floor, reach your right arm forward. Hug your right hip towards the midline. Stay there and draw the right arm behind your back. Grab the inside of the left thigh, open up your chest, torso, breathe in. And then just return the right arm back to the floor. Reach the right arm forward, reach the left arm forward, chin, chest to the floor. Shift yourself forward, lower yourself to your belly. Walk your hands back under your shoulders, elbows squeeze in by your side. Legs can be as wide as the mat for now. Push the pubic bone down, lift your heart up, and lift your arms up so we know that the back is doing the work, not the arms right now. But they're gonna assist us in a moment. Bring your hands back down. Rotate your torso to the right, look over towards your left foot. Come back to the center. You can use your arms or stay low. Rotate your torso to the left. Look towards your right foot. Come back down to the center. Inhale, lift your torso to the center, cobra. Exhale, lower your chest. Bend your knees, sit to your heels, tuck your toes, and float your knees from the floor, downward facing dog. You can also keep the knees down. When you're in your downward dog, bend your right knee and lower your left heel to the floor. Rise up onto both toes, bend the left knee and lower your right heel to the floor. Inhale, come up to your both toes, lift your knees up, chest to your thighs, let your head hang down, shake it out, yes and no. And gently shift into a plank position, the top of a push-up, pull your belly up and in. Knees lifted, broaden the collarbones. Good. Push the floor away, really activate the middle of your body. Exhale, lower your knees to the floor and lower your chest to the floor. Bring your feet a little bit closer. You can keep them wide if you want to, need to. Inhale, lift your chest and look over your right shoulder. Exhale, lower your chest. Inhale, lift your chest, look over your left shoulder. Exhale, come back. Inhale, lengthen through the center, cobra. Now from here, lower down, tuck the toes, sit on your heels, and then float the knees from the floor downward facing dog. Bend the right knee, press the left heel down. Bend the left knee, press the right heel down. Come back to center, find a little stillness in down dog. Inhale, rise on your toes, shift forward, high plank. Exhale, lower your knees, lower your belly onto the floor. And now bring your feet to whatever distance works for you. So that might be closer, a little bit more apart, or a lot apart. Inhale, lift your chest, turn to the right, look over your right shoulder. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift up, look to the left. Exhale, lower down. Inhale to the center, cobra. Exhale, lower down. Tuck your toes, sit on your heels, lift your knees, downward facing dog. Bend the right knee, bend the left knee. Walk your feet a little bit closer to your hands, bend your knees, and have your hands either on your fingertips, some of you will probably get your palms pressed down as well. But the, it's like a short downward facing dog. Bring the right hand to the left foot, shin or ankle, and look under your left arm. Pull your hips to the center line as you look under the left arm, breathe. Empty the breath, release the right hand, take the left hand to the right foot, Shin or ankle and look under the right arm and then hug the right hip back towards the midline. Breathe in. And breathe out. 
Come back to the center. Walk your hands forward, walk your legs back, downward facing dog. Inhale, shift to the high plank. Once again, just measure out your length. Lower your knees, stay upright on the floor, and step your right foot in between your two hands. If you have blocks, place them on the side of the foot, any height. Let's walk the right foot a little bit more to the center. Right knee in line with the hip, left knee behind the hip, shoulders back, collarbones broad, breathe in. Press your right big toe down on the floor. Inhale. Exhale. Place your hands on top of your thighs. Lift your torso up. Now come upright for a moment. And then hinge down. Exhale. Relax the shoulders. Stretch the arms overhead. Inhale. Open your right arm back. Left arm forward. Thumbs up. Hug your hips to the center line. Lean a little forward with your torso and place your left hand on the floor of the block, right arm up. Hug your hip to the midline. Breathe in and breathe out. Relax the shoulder away from the ear, especially on the left side. No, on both sides. One more breath. Empty the breath, hands to the floor. Sink a little bit lower into your low lunge. Inhale. And then send your right knee back to meet your left knee in a tabletop position. Tuck the toes, lift the knees, lift the hips, downward dog. Inhale, shift to plank, pause. Lower the knees to the floor and step your left foot to the middle in between your two hands. So walk it a little bit more centered today. Hands under the shoulders, knee in line with the hip. Big toe pressing down. Drop your right hip down. Broaden your collarbone, shoulders back. Nice. Take your hands to your thighs. When you get to your thigh, lift yourself upright. Inhale. And then sink down. Exhale. Good. Breathe. Broaden the collarbones. Drop the shoulders back and down. Inhale, stretch the arms overhead. Exhale, left arm back, right arm forward. Hug your left hip to the midline, so don't draw it out with you. Nice, looks good, Maxine, breathe in. Now hinge a little forward with your torso. Right arm to the floor of the block. Left arm in the air, stacking your shoulders like a T. Hug your left hip into the midline. Relax your shoulders, you shouldn't be hyperventilating at this point, or any point. One more breath. Find a little more space. Exhale, and hands to the floor. Inhale. Tuck your back toes underneath you. Lift your knee up. Exhale, step your feet together, top of the mat. Put your hands on blocks just out in front of you, high height. So just kind of measure it out a little bit, kind of like we did a few moments ago when we came into that shorter downward dog. So walk the arms out in front of you. So the shoulders do not have to be over the wrist here. And shift your weight back towards your heels, but bend your knees if you're doing that. Once again, take the right arm to the left foot, shin or ankle, and look under your left arm now. Pull your left hip to the midline and just squeeze. So rather than letting that left hip fly out to the left side. Come back to center, switch arms. Right arm comes on the block high. Left arm comes on the outside of the foot. Look under your right arm, hug your right hip to the center. Breathe in, breathe out. And then come on back to center, both arms out in front of you. Move the blocks back so now they are under your shoulders. Lengthen your spine. Keep a soft bend in the knees. I will be keeping a bigger bend in the knees for most of this. Place your hands on your hips or your thighs. Lengthen your spine to stand all the way up. Place your hands on your back, fingers in either direction. Lift your chest up. Squeeze your elbows in and stretch the front side of the body. Good. Oh, Maxine, so you have a mirror so I can see part of you <laughs> in one direction or the other. Good. Now stand up tall. If you're not at the top of your mat, walk towards the top of your mat. Release your arms down by your side. Lift your shoulders to your ears. Roll them back and then roll them back down. 
Look down from the bottom up. So big toe, little toe, ball of the foot, heel. Calves push towards the shins, knees lift up towards the hips. Tailbone points down, collarbones are broad, shoulders are open, palms face open. Chin parallel to the floor, crown of the head to the sky. Eye gaze steady, breath steady. Inhale, stretch your arms overhead. Exhale, take your right arm back, left arm forward. Now, the right hip is going to want to go with it. Keep it centered and just stretch the arms open. Doesn't matter how big, broad they get. Inhale, stretch the arms up. Exhale, same thing to the other side. Now, draw that left hip forward with you a little bit more, Susan. Yeah. Breathe in. It's going to want to carry itself to the side with you. So it's just the arms that are moving. Inhale, stretch up. Soften the knees, exhale, forward fold. Hands on the floor, shins or the blocks. Lengthen your spine, inhale. Always have the blocks just nearby if you want to use them at any point. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Send your right foot to the back of the mat. Make it a generous step. This time, widen the legs a little bit more so you're not on a, a tightrope. Come to your fingertips again for the blocks. And like we did on the floor, keep your left knee bent. Put your hands on top of your thighs and lift yourself upright. From here, just bend the back knee down a little bit. Hug your hips to the midline. Inhale, stretch the arms overhead. Reach up like you're being pulled from the ceiling, and then you're being pressured down into the floor. The back leg can stay bent. Send your left arm back. We just did this. Right arm forward. Now hug that left hip into the midline. Inhale. Hinge forward with your torso. Then the right leg begins to straighten, and the right hand comes down on the floor block. Left arm up over your shoulder. Squeeze. So right arm is down, left arm is up. Left leg is bent. If you're anywhere else, either switch it up or just remember you're on the other side. One more breath. Look at your shoulder. Should, don't pull uh, Maxine from behind you. Take it over your head and turn your palm away from your face. Yeah, there you go. One more breath. Good. Empty the breath and lower your hand. Just straighten out your left leg for a moment. Fold. Lengthen. Inhale. Exhale. Fold. Take your right hand block and move it to the right side of your mat for a moment. Inhale, lengthen your spine and turn to the right side of your mat. So both feet are facing the long edge of your mat. Block out in front of you any height. Inhale, lengthen. So now shift your shoulders over your wrists here. Your heels might lift. And then place the heels down and bend the knees as you shift the hips back. So the arms are outstretched. Left arm stays, right arm opens up. Now the right hip wants to move to the right side, and you can certainly let it, or if you want to find a little, it just gives you a little less space probably, and then find the twist. Take your right hand underneath your left arm, grab for the outer foot, shin, or ankle. Now you can hug the hips back to center. Roll your right shoulder underneath you, hug your hips to the midline, one more breath. And then empty the breath, release the right hand. Shift a little forward, then heels down, knees soft. Stretch the left arm up, inhale. And again, you can shift the hips to the left a little bit, or you can try to square them and maybe not get the big satisfaction of the rotation in the torso. One more breath. Then send the arm underneath the right arm. Look to the right side, hug your right hip to the midline, breathe in. And empty it out. Inhale, return to center, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold, walk your hands back under your shoulders, walk the block forward, send your left foot forward, breathe in, low lunge. Exhale, step your right foot to your left foot, halfway lift. Inhale, exhale, fold, and then rise out the stand all the way up to standing. Bring the arms up, from the ground up, feet are firm, legs are firm, hands come to prayer. Release the arms by your side. Inhale, stretch the arms overhead. Exhale, forward fold. You're facing the front of your mat now. 
Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, send the left foot back, generous step. Move the right foot to the right enough that your knee is over the ankle and your hips are level. And again, hands on the blocks certainly helps. Place your hands on top of your thighs, lift yourself up, stay shoulders over hips. Now bend the back knee, keep the right toes pointing forward. Inhale, stretch the arms overhead, drop your hips low, hug your hips to center line. Inhale, right arm moves back, left arm moves forward as we turn our torso to the right side. Hug your right hip into the midline. Reach in two directions, breathe, spread the collarbones broad. Now begin to hinge your torso to the front and straighten the back leg a little bit more. Exhale, left hand can come to the floor of the block. Right arm comes up in the air, palm faces away from your body. Good. And the shoulders are stacked like a T. Breathe in. And breathe out. Hug your right hip inward. One more breath. Good. Exhale, lower your hands. Straighten your right leg. Inhale. Take your block to the left side of your mat. Fold, exhale. Inhale, lift your chest and walk over to the left side so your feet are somewhat parallel to each other. Walk the block out in front of you any height. Shift your weight so your shoulders are over your wrists and then soften your knees and bring your hips back. Bend your left knee, the leg that's towards the back of the mat. Bend it and sit back and reach your arms forward as you sit your weight behind your knee. Nice long stretch, sides of the body, back of the body. Breathe in, breathe out. No real twist. Come back to center, stand up straight. Exhale, bend your right knee. Keep your arms stretching out as you push your hips back. So if you don't have a block, your hands are on the floor doing the same thing. You might not just feel as much space. Sit your weight behind your right heel. And then inhale, come back to center. Exhale, fold. Walk your hands back underneath your shoulders. Move the block to the front of the space. Walk around to the front of your space. Low lunge. Inhale. Step your left foot forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, take yourself up to standing, however it feels good to you and bring your hands to your heart center. Release your arms by your side. Firm up your legs. Inhale, stretch the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Hands to floor, shins or blocks. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, step, step, high plank. Shift forward, knees down or not. Bend the elbows, go halfway down. Roll up and over your toes. Pull your heart through, lift your chest up. Exhale, hips go in the air, downward facing dog. Inhale, float your right leg high in the sky. Exhale, step your right foot through. Inhale, rise up, however you get there. Exhale, open to the right. Inhale, hinge forward, left arm down, right arm up. Exhale, right arm down, straighten the front leg. Inhale, lengthen your spine, turn to your left side, same side we were just on. Exhale, bend your left knee, collarbones broad. Inhale through center, bend your right knee, exhale. Inhale, walk around to the front. Exhale, step to a high plank, chaturanga, or not, or more. Upward dog, listen to your body today. Downward facing dog, exhale. Inhale, float your left leg high in the sky. Give it some length. Exhale, step it through. I don't care how you get it there and how many steps it takes you to get there. Right arm down, left arm up, twist. Nope, come on up. <laughs> come on up. Come on over. All right, hinge forward. Inhale, right arm down, left arm up. Now, breathe, twist, hug the hips in. Exhale, lower your hands, straighten your left leg. Inhale, turn to the right side, fold down. Exhale, inhale, lengthen. Bend your right knee, sit your weight behind your heels. Inhale, stretch up and over to the other side, exhale. 
Inhale, turn to the front of your space. Exhale, step back through plank, chaturanga, or skip it and meet in downward dog, give me child's pose. Inhale, float your right leg in the air. Exhale, step your right foot through. Find stability, then come up, inhale. Exhale, open to the right. Inhale, hinge, left arm down, right arm up. We'll change it up just a little bit. Exhale, right hand down. Left foot turns, right hand right now on the inside of your right foot. Right foot is either to the, the uh, outside of the heel, inner foot, or wider. Left arm opens up, so count of the twist with the bent knee, the right leg. So the right knee and the right arm are hugging towards each other. Stack your shoulders, use a block, breathe in. Think about your back foot for a minute. Press your back pinky toe and big toe down. Lift a little bit of the inner arch of the left foot, but you're not rolling to the pinky side of the foot. Look down at your right foot. Inhale, rise up. Bend your knee, warrior two. And then straighten arms and legs, inhale. Exhale, bend your right knee. Reach your right arm forward, reach your left arm back. So the arms are stacked over the hips. Gaze is to the right middle finger. Good, inhale. Sink a little lower, exhale. Back foot doesn't change, stay strong. Watch your front knee, Karen. It's rolling inward. So think about moving the knee towards the pinky side of the foot. Flip your palms open, left arm goes down the left leg, right arm goes up and back. Take your left arm behind your back and just grab a hold of the right inner thigh. If you can't reach that far, reach to your shirt. And then begin to straighten the right leg. Good. Rebend the right leg. Reach your right arm forward. And this time, just put your hand on your thigh. Rotate your torso. The left arm is bound behind your back somewhere. The right arm is on your thigh for now. For some of you, that's where it will stay. For others, you may take your left hand underneath your leg, your right arm on the inside, and open up for a nice big twist. Now. If the left shoulder starts to point down, release the right arm. Keep the left arm bound only. And we're in a bound angle. Breathe. Yeah, good Susan. You could probably get there if you just bring your left arm a little bit more underneath your right thigh. Or use a strap or towel. One more breath. Okay, with your bound, stay bound. If not, keep your arms where they are and straighten your front leg. Hinge a little forward and big torso. Then everybody, release your right hand. You can take a block outside the thigh, the calf, and then take your left arm up. Pull the right hip upward. Stack your shoulders, triangle pose. Firm up your legs. More important than the feet, super important. As the teacher will say, just the feet, the feet, the feet. All right, so roll the torso, because everything starts at the feet. Is that right, Lori? Shake your head, yes. It all starts at the feet. One more breath. Good. Empty the breath. Rebend your front knee. Left hand on the floor. Once again, right arm opens up to the twist. Lower your left knee to the floor. Release your back foot for a moment. Stretch your right arm back. Grab a hold of your left foot, shin or ankle, or just reach towards it. If you come up on your knee to grab your foot, that's okay. Try to sink a little forward. Some of you will take your left arm a little bit more forward. Some of you will get your forearm to the floor. That's a super intense quad stretch for many of us. So let your body kind of guide you into it. One more breath. Release the foot, release the breath. Go ahead and straighten your front leg and fold over it. Breathe in. And breathe out. Right hip pulls back, right uh, chest goes over the right thigh. Relax your shoulders, hands can be on the blocks anywhere any height. Inhale, re-bend your front knee, tuck your left toes under. Step your right foot to a plank or right into dog, shift forward, push up or not, upward dog, back bend or not. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, float your left leg high in the sky. Exhale, step your left foot through. Inhale, rise up to standing. 
Exhale, open to your left side. Inhale, hinge forward, right arm down, left arm up. Good, now this time exhale, left hand on the inside on a floor block. Turn your back foot on its side, turn it about two o'clock if there was a clock in the front of your mat. You might want to snuggle your left leg in a little bit closer, but it's not gonna be for everybody. Hug your left hip to the center, stretch your right arm in the air, Side angle pose. If you need the block under the left hand, put it there. It only gives you space. It's all we're doing is creating space. The more space we have, the more, the more real estate we have, the more it's worth, right? In your body. Look down at your toes. Press firmly to both legs. Inhale, rise up. And once again, pay attention to the back leg. One more breath. Now straighten your bend for a minute. Well, not a minute, just a breath and bend the left knee. So again, pay attention to the back foot. Pinky toe on the floor, big toe on the floor. Inner arch is lifted, so there's action at the foot, but we're not rolling outward on our pinky toe, right? We're not um, putting that pressure to the other side. Arms are stretching, warrior two. Breathe in, breathe out. Find a little bit more space, sink a little bit deeper, one more breath. Flip your palms, right arm down, left arm up. Side stretch. Bump your right hip towards your left knee. And then take your right arm behind your back. Some of you will grab the inside of your thigh. If you do, push the, the skin down towards the knee and rotate the inner thigh skin towards the outer thigh. Breathe in. Straighten your front leg. Inhale, rise up. Rebend your knee. Exhale, reach forward, put your left hand on your left thigh. Turn your torso to the right. Now when I say put your left hand on your left thigh, that doesn't mean dump all your weight into that left shoulder. Right, so if you lifted up your hand, nothing would change in your torso. Breathe, you can stay right here. Some of you will take your left arm underneath and reach for the right hand behind you. Some of you can use a strap or towel. Some of you should keep your left arm from hugging around. Good, Michelle. Try not to wear a diaper <laughs> to be so pleasant about it. Maybe it's more under the thigh than the, the groin. Breathe in, breathe out. Now, bound or not, straighten your front leg, inhale. Reach your torso forward, so the crown of the hip moves forward, the hips move back, shoulders stack, and then gently release your left hand, perhaps on a block or the floor, or the shin, or the toes, right arm in the air. Lift the left side of your body up and in. Press firmly into your right leg. Notice if you put more pressure, not the good pressure, more energy into the right foot, how much wider your torso can, can extend or stand. Reach, one more breath. Good, empty the breath, release the right hand, bend the left knee, right hand back to the floor, Left arm up, open up the twist. Inhale. Keep your arm over your shoulder, Maxine. I know, and especially with the shoulder. Now turn your palm away from you, towards the mirror. Palm towards the mirror. Yeah. One more breath. Exhale, fold. Hands to the floor. Step back to plank. Chaturanga. Upward, downward. Or not at all. Hips up in the air. Breathe in, breathe out. Bring your right leg high into the sky. Exhale, step your right foot through. Inhale, open your right arm just right into the twist. Exhale, lower your right arm, turn your back foot on its side. Hug the right leg into the middle. Inhale, left arm comes up. Exhale, look down, inhale, rise up. Straighten the arms and legs. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior with a bind or not. Exhale, straighten your front leg. Inhale, re-bend the front knee. Right arm side angle again, bind or not. Half bind or full bind. Inhale, straighten your front leg. Exhale, release the bind, triangle pose. Inhale, bend your front knee a little. Turn your back foot forward, hands to the floor. 
Step your back foot in a little bit closer, and now have it towards the front left corner of your mat. You might want to widen your hips. Some of us will need to do that. Take a block. Let's stand up and take the block into your left hand. So check out your alignment. Your feet are not on a tightrope. They should be at least hips width apart. They may need to be wider apart. They may need to be wider front and back as well. Left hand holds the block, right hand on your hip. Inhale, stretch your arm up overhead. Now as you do that, pull the right, the, let's think more about pulling the left shoulder forward than the right shoulder back. So bring the right, left shoulder forward, bring your knees up, inhale. Pull your left hip with your left shoulder, and then hinge forward and place the block inside or outside of your foot today on any height. So I, I just got here and I had to snuggle my left leg a little bit further to the left. Right hand on your sacrum, inhale. Squeeze your hips to the center, exhale, turn to the right side, stack your shoulders, open your collarbones, stretch the right arm up, palm faces away from your body. Twisted triangle pose, breathe. Find the space, move into, be the space. Good. One more breath. Good, now bring your right hand to your hip, look down, look to the front of your mat. Take your block on its highest height. If you don't have a block, just go with the flow. Send your weight to your right leg, lift your left leg off the floor, hug your right hip into the midline, Take your left foot long away from your hip and turn the toes down as the torso rotates to the right. Same pose with one leg off and one leg on the floor. Twisted half moon pose. Not an easy pose by any stretch of the imagination. Good, Michelle. So breathe into it. Don't worry so much about the leg you're standing on. Think about pulling that left leg all the way back out of your hip socket in a nice way. Breathe, lengthen. One more breath. Now go ahead, put your right hand on your hip, bend your right knee, step back, bring the block to the side of your mat, and then the right arm comes up. One more breath. Oh, I know I skipped something. Right arm comes down, left knee comes bent. We'll do it on the other side again, don't worry. All right, grab a hold of your foot, stay here, hug your hips in, one more breath. Exhale, release it, straighten your front leg, toes up. Walk your hands forward, pull your hips back. We'll do an extra long hold on the other side. Inhale, re-bend the knee, tuck the back toes underneath you. Stretch your right leg in the air, three-legged. Open the hip and bend and straighten it now. Keep the right shoulder pointing down or underarm. And then step your feet together on the mat. Breathe in, breathe out. If you feel the need for a vinyasa, take it here or stay in your downward dog and just work on breathing. Soften the knees. One more breath. Good. Bring your feet together. Inhale, lift your left leg in the air. Exhale, step the left foot through. Right arm stays. We go right into the twist. Open up. Exhale, left arm comes on the inside of the left leg, right foot turns on its side. Inhale, right arm comes up, we twist again. Look down. Inhale, rise up, warrior two, exhale. Inhale, straighten and bend again. Exhale. Inhale, flip your palms, right arm down, left arm up. Right arm goes behind the back or you can keep it down the leg. Inhale, straighten the front leg. Exhale, hinge forward, reach out, 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 out. Left hand on the inside, outside foot, shin, or block. Inhale. Exhale, release your hands to the floor. Bend your front knee a little. Step your right foot a little bit closer. Pull your left hip back. Take a block into your right hand, lengthen your spine. Left hand on your hip, rise up, bring the right arm overhead, inhale. So just check out that you're not on a tightrope, that you could actually see. So Maxine, your left foot is forward, your body is facing forward. We're facing the front of the, the short edge of the mat. Yes, right arm up, inhale. Good, exhale, hinge forward, reach forward. Again, pull that right shoulder, right hip forward, and then put the hands on the block inside or outside of the leg. You know, if you do the same thing each time you practice, think about changing up. Left arm comes up, open up the twist. So your right arm is down, your left leg is forward. 
Your left arm is up and you're twisting to the left side. Not the easiest place to be. One more breath. Look down, left hand on the hip. Right hand moves the block if you have it in front of you, all the way outstretched. Begin to lift your right leg off the floor. Lengthen out of the right hip, turn your torso to the left. Stack your shoulders, left arm over the right. Spread your fingers, hug your hips. Twisted half moon pose. Not my favorite pose, but I do it because I know that I need it. All right, take two more breaths here. And energize the right leg, the leg that's in the air. Of course, energize the left leg as well, but think about lengthening that right leg away from you. Exhale, you can bring your left hand to your hip. Step your right leg back. Move your block, right arm down, left arm up, twist. Exhale, lower your right knee. Send your left arm back behind you. Grab for the foot if you can. If you come up to your knee to grab it, that's great. See if you can bring it back down. Walk your hand as far forward as is okay for you. Forearms on the floor if you'd like. So you're twisted, so left hand, right foot, Karen. You got it? Yeah, okay. It's hard to tell sometimes on Zoom where anybody is. Breathe in, breathe out. Oh, nice, Max. One more, because your knee is supposed to be on the floor, but that's beautiful. Exhale, if you have the hand and foot, release it and straighten your right, your left leg. So you're on your right knee and your left leg becomes straighter. Walk your hands forward or back or on the block. Nice. Inhale, rebend your knee, tuck your back toes underneath you. Just step to a three-legged dog, left leg in the air. Open the left hip, bend and straighten. And then lower the left heel to the floor, downward facing dog. Stay in stillness for a few breaths. Let's take this last chaturanga vinyasa out of here. Come to plank. Exhale, lower half leg. Inhale, back to the up dog. Exhale, to the down dog. Inhale, bring your knees to the floor. Turn in either direction to the long side of your mat and straddle your legs apart. Doesn't have to be a big straddle, okay? Doesn't have to be as wide as your mat. But I like the long side just in case you like to have your feet on the mat. It gives you a little traction. Bring your hands behind your back. Lift your chest, turn your toes to the ceiling, and use your hands behind your back to stay upright. So let's stay upright for this one. Turn the toes up and open, just a little bit. And then keep your hands behind your back, keep your body upright, but hinge a little bit. So what I mean to say is that we're not rounding our back. Okay. So, so we should have said that, huh? Inhale, and hinge forward, exhale. Good. So if this helps you to stay connected to keeping a long spine, stay where you are. You can also sit on a block if you're feeling tight. Or now, maybe you'll bring your arms out, but I don't want you to change the shape of your spine. Breathe in, breathe out, walk your hands forward. Keep doing that until you find your deepest expression today of your pose. If your back starts to round, you're too deep. If you start to lose connection, you're too deep. Two more breaths, wherever you are. It doesn't mean it's good or bad if you don't go far down. It just means it's a flexibility thing. One more breath. Good. Inhale, walk to your left leg. You can have a block if you'd like where your left hand rests on the block or the inside of the thigh. Right arm comes up and over to the left side. Push your right heel, uh, hip to the floor and then rotate your torso open. That's it, Susan, nice. Now palm down, fingers forward and spin maybe the thumb up a little bit. Just like we do in side angle. Breathe. Relax your shoulders. Inhale, rise up, use the strength of your core. Now you can take the block again on the inside of the right leg and you might notice that one side feels a little different than the other. Or have your hand on the inside of the thigh. Inhale, stretch your left arm up and over. Now as you stretch over, you're gonna feel the stretch down the whole left side body. Use the arm against the leg or the block as traction to open the torso a little bit more. 
Palm is down, but spin the thumb open a little bit. And then notice how you get more of that rotation through the torso without force. Nice, isn't it? Good. Breathe. All good. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, bring your hands behind your back. Lean back. Soften your knees, come back in, turn to the front of your space, and just rock and roll a little bit side to side. Come back to the center. Make your feet as wide as your mat, and let both knees drop to the right side. Move your left knee so it's in line with your left hip. Perhaps right ankle over the knee. Perhaps. Perhaps. Some cocoa, perhaps. All right, breathe in. Did you get that ETU left? Okay. Come down if you want or can to your forearms. I don't want you leaning to your right side though. I want you leaning back, elbows on the floor. So your chest is forward, your left knee is bent in, your right foot is crossing over. Some of you can get all the way down to your back. Great. Go there if it feels good. Good. From here, if you're not on your forearms, we'll get you there. Bring your right, uh, left leg back up, right ankle above the knee. Now come down to your forearms and all the way down to your back. Take your hands in the space between your triangle, between your two legs. Hold on to your left shin, let the heel come down to the buttocks. As you pull your left knee to your chest, nudge your right knee away from you. I'm just going to turn this way a little bit. So nudge the right knee away from you. Pull in, press away. One more breath. Release your hands, release your left foot. Open your arms to a T. Shift your hips right. Bring your right foot, listen carefully, to the floor. Right foot. So your knee points to the ceiling. Right knee is bent to the ceiling. Right foot is on the outside of the left. Take your left hand and press your right knee away from you. Open up the space between the hip and the thigh. One more breath before we take it to the spinal twist. Empty the breath. Now release your hand and bring both legs bent on the floor to the left side. You can cross or uncross where it doesn't feel right for you. Spinal twist. Uncross the leg. Come back to your back. Hug your knees to your chest. Hold on to the top of your foot, shin, or ankle. Keep your heels close to your buttocks. A little Pilates roll like a ball. Take a breath in. As you exhale, rock and roll maybe a couple of times. Don't kick your heels. Use your breath. Don't kick your heels away from the cat. And come up to standing or sitting on your hips. Take your feet as wide as the mat. <clears throat> Bend your knees to the left side. Walk your right knee in line with your right hip. That may be all you're doing. Left ankle perhaps on top of the right knee, on the outside. Stay upright or see if you can come down to your forearms. Gently, no force. Breathe. I know, deep outer hip, IT band. So if you're not on your forearms, just bring your right leg up and then lean back to your forearms, back to the floor. Grab a hold of your right shin, bring bringing your left hand through the triangle. Pull your right shin in and press your left knee away. Same time. Pull your right shin in, left knee away. Breathe in and breathe out. Release your foot to the floor carefully. Shift your hips to the left, open your arms and bring your left foot on the outside of the right knee. Take your right hand and press the knee away from you. So your knee is in the air. Your left knee is in the air. Use your right hand to guide a little bit more space between your hip and your thigh. Maybe a little external rotation as you push the skin up and open. Take another breath. Release the arm. And then bring both knees over to the right side, uh, bent and bound or not. A couple of 
breaths, just settle it in. Good, inhale, uncross your legs, draw your knees back to your chest. Hug everything in, we won't pull out roll like a ball anymore. Pull everything close, head and shoulders, knees and chest. Exhale, lower your head, keep your hands connected to your legs, line up your heels with your sitting bones, and then tilt your pelvis down so your pubic bone points up. Press firmly through your feet, lift your hips into a bridge. Hold on to it. Open up your chest, shoulders. Knees are in line with your hips. Don't let them splay out, otherwise put a block there. Keep pressing your hips up and shoulders down. One more breath. Release your hands, upper mid and lower back go down to the floor. Take another bridge, supported or not supported, or some of you may choose to go to wheel. So articulate your spine up. If you're going to wheel, hands by your shoulders, fingers point in, come to the top of the head, lift the hips up, breathe, inhale, and exhale. So your choice, your choice, how intense you want it to be today, because nobody can speak for it but you. If you're anywhere, top of the head, upper, mid, lower back to the floor. Lay on your backs, hug your knees all the way up to your chest. Breathe in. And then stretch your legs out in front of you. Stretch your arms over your head. Take a big, big reach in all directions. Inhale. And I can't hear you, but open your mouth and go, ah, as you release your arms by your side, release your hips down, open up your legs and let go. Find your final pose of the class. Scan your body from the top of your head to the bottoms of your feet. Notice if there's any points of tension and let go. Stay strong as well.